not the one who got away. Been the best that I could be, but in the end, yeah, it's you that's leaving me. Hey, welcome to Music City Spotlight. We're hanging out with Swing Love today. I don't know any of these boys. They don't know me. Uh, I don't know their music. And they don't know mine. And that's cool, right? That's what's cool about Nashville? Absolutely. True or not true. You could, I could even hear you into those mics, guys. So let's meet you guys. Aaron? Uh, yeah, You're on keys? Uh, yeah, Aaron Vocals. Burns. Are you the songwriter or what's up? I am indeed. Uh, yeah, I've uh, been in Nashville about a year and a half. Moved here from Baltimore, Maryland. And I've uh, been there... Had been there about 26, 27 years before that, so, yeah. Yeah. How about you, Eddie? What's up? You're on guitar? Uh, on guitar. Tell us what um, you're playing. What I'm playing? Guitar? Yeah, yeah, of it's course. A, I don't know. It's a Taylor. <laughs> oh, a Taylor, I man. Is. I'd have to look at what it is. Does it offend you that I have uh, Martin guitars on my wall? No, actually, I'm offended at myself because I never would have bought a Taylor before in my life. I'm Had you a, know? A Martin player. Oh, then and, we're on uh, the same side. Yeah, oh, exactly. <laughs> but, um... I picked this one up and I liked it and I tried it just tracking. It tracks really yeah. well. And uh, for the non Martin finger style stuff, strumming and all that stuff. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it actually works very well. Just this particular model. Everything else I've tried, the same type. I was just kidding. I think you were sounding good earlier. <laughs> we were sound check. Jason, what's up? Playing hey, a snare for us today. I, I'm just playing a snare, that's right. That's all he plays. That's just all he does? Yeah. Just a snare. Just, just a snare. <laughs> plays a snare and with himself. Next year, he, he graduates to kick drum. <laughs> yeah. Next year, I bet it would take like ten years to get good at the snare. I'm sure, <laughs> right? At least I could see. I mean, I'm, some of my best friends are are drummers, okay. so I've gone to. For some reason, I always end up making friends with drummers. Yeah. I was talking to you the most. <laughs> well, let's just hear a song because let's okay. see what's up. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, we're gonna start out with something a little more, uh, kind of a little more jazzy influence than uh, some of our later stuff. We've kind of ranged from uh, jazz influence stuff all the way to straight ahead hard rock. So we're gonna start out with one of the jazzy ones and probably finish it up with a heavier one. But Let's do it. the song's called Black Widow. Tell me all your secrets, baby Cause I ain't one to run and hide Tell me all your reasons, baby Or just pour me some cyanide Send me to hell, you sweet angel Cause you ain't no friend of mine But I'm addicted, slow constricted And it's time I draw the line Cause you're just a dream and it's so it seems But you won't see me no more Cause there's no lie, no I to I won't be like I was before Next widow, baby Your venom is deep within my soul You're the darkest mistress, lady Your love takes such a bitter tone You are gone with your red shoes on Guess I ain't seeing you again Shake it all and let me fall You ain't my lover or oh, my friend you and me and the devil make three and I ain't going on tonight Cause you might find you run out of time Cause I'm leaving at morning light I choose the water over wine Cause I'm a stranger to your kind You take it all the way Tell me that we'll be just fine 
when I'm moving on today So leave me be and pray You're unforgettable But I don't wanna be your slave You're my darkest moment, baby Your poison's safe in my mind You're my weakest downfall lately But you ain't gonna win this time Come lay your bones on the cobalt stones And a kiss you will have a good night Cause I might find it might do time Cause it's wrong and it feels so right you and me and the devil make three and I ain't going on tonight Cause you might find in your due time and going down without a fight I choose the water over wine Cause I'm a stranger to your kind You can take it all the way Tell me that we'll be just fine Well I'm moving on today So leave me be a prey You're unforgettable I don't wanna be your slave Choose the water of the wine Cause I'm a stranger to your kind You take it all the way Tell me that we'll be just fine Well, I'm moving on today So leave me be a prey You're unforgettable And I don't wanna be your slave Choose the water of the wine Cause I'm a stranger to your kind You take it all the way Tell me that we'll be just fine Well, I'm moving on today So leave me be afraid You're unforgettable I don't wanna be your slave Choose the water of the wine Cause I'm a stranger to your kind you take it all the way Tell me that we'll be just fine Well, I'm moving on today So leave me be a prey You're unforgettable I don't wanna be your slave Yeah, we totally did. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, don't, I didn't notice. That was great. Definitely uh, jazzy. You, you were right. right. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually one of the first songs I wrote uh, for this band back when I was in Baltimore. I, I gotten out of school as a jazz uh, pianist, and so a lot of that influence carried over. But you guys met here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got I met Jason before I met Eddie. Uh, Jason and I actually, we, of course, the uh, the old Craigslist ad. I need a drummer. <laughs> he it responded. Works. And it yeah, works. He really hit it off. Oh, and, come on, guys. It was Tinder, you know. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit, you know. <laughs> that that came later. <laughs> and uh, Eddie actually, uh, he was a regular at the bar I work at. And we got to talk him one day. Uh, and, uh, regular at the bar. Oh yeah. 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 How's it? Uh, Jose Cuervo and Coors Light. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we got to talking, uh, discovered he was uh, he had a little studio over on Music Row and said, hey, let's get together and make some music. What's the vibe like now? Like you guys, you guys kind of, who's, what, you're writing most of it? I don't know, uh, whatever right now, vibe. But we've, we've talked about uh, actually doing a lot more group Like a band writing. vibe. Yeah. You know? Well, you know we were we talking about that earlier, like a, that's what's cool about bands. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. why you wouldn't want to go fully electronic. Right. Oh, absolutely, yeah, no yeah. We way. definitely want to make, always be a band. Uh, the electronic is just icing on the cake as far as what we're. What and we're if you to do and it. if any of you guys leaves and someone else replaces you, it's not the same. 
Ah, no, he loses that, that chemistry. Yeah, yeah. You know, be better. <laughs> uh, yeah, we've we've gotten to the point where boo. now we're just insulting each other all the time. So yeah, it sounds like yeah. that. Yeah. I know what. Thanks for answering else. my question, Eddie. I know what the vibe is. <laughs> yeah, uh, hostile. It's, yeah, I was trying it, to get in touch with HR, but uh, is it mostly <laughs> mostly funk and? Uh, no, actually, yes. we've we've evolved. Uh, I would say at this point, it's uh, pretty much hard rock. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What we've yeah. gone towards, yeah. And actually, the the, the last one we we'll played today, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I would say a little bit of a progressive yeah, a little thing bit, going on yeah. too. I'd say like uh, if we had to if we had to compare, and I don't say comparing, but I'd say a little bit of Muse in there, a little bit of maybe uh, Cage the Elephant somewhere in there, kind yeah. of a mix of those two, a little dirty guitars, but kind of a. Yeah, Definitely some classical chord influence, progressions. You know, yeah. A little funk in there. We yeah. like that. We like that groovy yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Let's go with let's go with ages, because no one can see you. And yeah. not that it matters, but it matters because of how much time like you two have been playing for sure. Like all of you are fucking fantastic. Thank you. But but you guys have like a, a style. I like I don't have a style. I want a style. You guys definitely like <laughs> you know how to touch your instrument in the right way and only you do it that way. I That's what she said. I think it's because we have so many different influences. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love Latin music and rock and yeah. funk and jazz. And yeah. All jazz drummers love Latin music. <laughs> or most, or they should. So they yeah. should love they Latin should. music at yeah, least. It's so rhythmic. Yeah. I love it. So. Yeah. So that's your main. How long have you been playing drums? Oh. Uh, About two months. <laughs> A of yeah, that's why I can only play the snare. <laughs> yeah, he has to graduate time. to the kick. In two, year, two years, he can hit cymbals. Next week, he'll be a bass drum. <laughs> and then that, yeah. How that's old are you, saying? Jason? I'm 37. 37? How about you, Eddie? Yeah. 46. 46? I'm the, I'm the baby of the group. Aaron? I'm 27. Oh. <laughs> like two years yeah. 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 Each of you. That's actually... Yeah. That's oh, cool. Yeah, that's weird. I never really Different thought. generation, huh? Each, yeah. no, each time. Yeah. I'm a blind Different girl. generations, but we definitely share a very common music musicality about like styles and yeah. yeah. How you play tempo? You don't want someone that speeds or is too slow with what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I think we all vibe really well. I think uh, we have oh, a yeah. lot of similar I musical. The very first time oh, yeah. I, I rehearsed with you guys, we instantly just had like a yeah. Very, very oh yeah. Vibe kind yeah. Of. Yeah, definitely. What about bass player? Are you trying to find a bass player or what? Oh, uh, we up? got one. He's uh, he is he lives in Kentucky though, so it's a two hour drive for him out here. Uh, so a little bit of a hike. Are so you? We didn't, we couldn't get him to come out today, but we'll be getting together with him next week, and yeah. after a firm reprimanding, we'll have a nice practice. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he lives, wait, wait, hold on. If he lives in Kentucky, how does he make it for practice? He drives. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> Every week. He works out of Nashville too. As, yeah. As well, so he comes back and forth for work yeah. all the mm -hmm. time. So. Okay. Yeah. Where do you guys practice? Is there like... Well, there's a mix of... We sometimes practice at uh, Jason's place down in Smyrna. Sometimes we practice at my place in East Nashville. Uh, I don't think we practice at your studio yet, Eddie. We did today. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we did today. Yeah, that's where yeah, we practice so today. Everybody yeah. has a studio, basically. Oh, uh, yeah. Or a place. A place, <laughs> I have, right? Uh, yeah. I, I do not, but I've got some space, so there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Actually, sometimes we go out to this great place uh, called the Rehearsal Room out in uh, Antioch. Yeah, really nice. cool. Yeah, for any other musicians out there, check it out. It's called the Rehearsal Room. It's, it's really good. good full setup, full board, everything. Lighting, couches. How many songs you guys got for us? What's that? Uh, three all together, so we Throughout just did once. We got two more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two more? Yeah. Let's do one more. Let's, all right. see, let's see what's up. Okay. Not like just one more. Oh, okay. okay. Let's, <laughs> no, let's do another one, is what I'm <laughs> saying. Well, we're going to keep it a little slow. We're going to do... Uh, yeah? This, this is one we wrote um, probably, I don't know, a year ago. Oh, yeah, actually, I, I started writing this when I first moved here. Uh, yeah, I kind of so got the inspiration for it. Last summer. Him to Her, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this song's called Him to Her, and basically it's just a Hand breakup. Him to Her? A uh, hymn to her. Like, him to Her. Like him like in a hymnal kind H of thing. Oh, H-Y. Yeah. yeah, one of those plays on word things that I thought was very clever, but I'm not sure it is. Yeah. It's fairly clever. <laughs> I'll give you a three. Oh, all right. Out of what? On what scale? Out of five. That's important. Out of, five. Out of 100, that's not good. Good <laughs> scale. All right. Hey, we're going to dive into this. And this one actually kind of came out, I think, a little bit uh, almost country ish, a little bit, I think, when it comes right down to it. But hey, You're in the right place, yeah, my friend. Yeah. It's kind of like American vibe, I guess. It's a little Americana, yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. You know, what all the kids are playing these days. So. <laughs> This is 
what you get, boy When you mess with love You give it up, it's over You think you've had enough This is what you get for Chasing angels from above You give it up, it's over I guess you're not so tough Days go by and still I wonder I do enough Counting nights I've lost the number But I guess that's love I've got nothing more to say Not the one who got away That I could be But in the end Yeah, yeah It's you that's leaving me This is what you get for Things would stay the same you Give it up, it's over She's leaving love, it's just a game Years go by and still I wonder Did I do enough? Countless nights I get no slumber And in the end that's love Well I've got nothing more to say Not the one who got away Been the best that I could be but in the end That's leaving me That was great. Thank you so much. Now I know why you call it a hymn. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely a little churchy. I think that was that's awesome. where the name came from. Yeah. But yeah. Definitely that's... a bit country. Yeah. But more gospel than country. Yeah, I think so. Gospel, Which is, is it. it's kind of funny because I feel like a lot of the songs you write tend to tend to be from very different. Styles. Well, I could hear the yeah. Well, when you first started, I could hear the classical thing you were talking about. Yeah, for you sure. You know, with the just the way you were playing it. Yeah. Very, very seventeen hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> at the very sure. beginning. At the very beginning. Yeah. The rest of it though, really. 
fucking fantastic. Well, and I said that so before. Much. Really, that was great. Thanks. I like that Thanks. one better than the first one. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Is yeah. that fair? Can I do that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, what did you guys? Uh, are we? You said one year, right? Are we eight months? Would you say? As far as since the beginning. Yeah, yeah here, together. Or? No, uh, both together? you guys uh, together. See, Jason, and I met about a year ago. I, it would be a year at the beginning. Yeah, of the and then so. and then Eddie, you joined up, and I want to say like November. No, it was after that, wasn't it? Sometime in there. I don't you know, know what I'm thinking? We'll this song, later. I liked it so much. Do you have it like online? Uh, we we're working on it. <laughs> Can I cut this and then make it a separate oh, yeah, thing that I post yeah. up? No, oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Because I really like that. Song. Oh, thank you. Thank then you. that should do be out there. Any, do we have any recordings of that song? We do. Yeah. 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 It's uh, have, uh, still, still in the works. You, you play drums on drums mm-hmm. on it. He has a. I don't know if Kyle put a bass track on. I don't well, if you don't so. mind, you know, it's just another version that's up there. Oh yeah, no, that's great. Yeah, feel free, man. Absolutely. Yeah, any, 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 anything else should there. be done soon, right? What's Which that? for that one? Uh, well, we have a, we do have a demo coming out, and I would say probably the next two three weeks uh, we got two songs mm-hmm. uh, on that little demo. You got um, a record then, or something coming out? Yeah, we're gonna be starting with record. I would I want to say probably uh, July to a full eight nine song something like that, cool. and some of the ones that'll be on the demo will also be on that. So yeah, yeah, we're it, looking forward to getting that started. We're pretty excited about it. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Eddie, Jason. You guys write any songs? Yeah. Uh, yeah? You love that thing. That <laughs> snare. <laughs> I like it a lot. You got like a... What? Never mind. Maybe maybe it's not a good idea. I was going to say, I was like, Eddie, play us a song. Yeah. Fucking yeah, play us cool, a song. If you, got, you got songs, you know? No, Is that nothing, a big... I, I write, but I don't sing. Oh, you don't sing? Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you kidding me? You like this is what's great about this It'll situation. <laughs> well, this is great about this situation. It's not it's not like a open mic platform or anything. Yeah, like, yeah. Or, you know. It's uh you can do whatever you want. Right. We yeah. can do whatever we want. Right that thing's that not stopping. Yeah. <laughs> There's no auto tune. That thing's not stopping. If you, if you could play us a song, that'd be great. Yeah, Are you kidding me? That's fine. I don't even no? know, know all my lyrics at all. I co-write with a couple of people. And yeah. Then, then we have other singers come in and the I studio the that I have. Thing. It's my business. And, I forget uh, my lyrics all the time. As, yeah. as these guys well know. So a lot of times during like if practice, I was performing on a regular basis, I could remember it. I could yeah. even remember the chords. But like well, once I write it, once it's done, I don't yeah. even think about it. It's just there. Yeah. Yeah. No, I hear you. You yeah. guys like Howard Stern? Mm-hmm. Oh man, I've heard that name in right? a while. Wow. Are you kidding me? I grew up listening to that. Yeah. You know. Uh huh. And the original podcaster. Yeah, and sure and yeah. my f- favorite thing that he does is interview musicians. Yeah, right. It's great. Have you heard any of those? And honestly, no. Oh, just yeah. Google that. Chris right. Martin, Billy Joe, yeah. uh, Elton John, nice. Paul McCartney, Ringo Starr. Just the things that they say. You know, like, <laughs> well, the thing that he makes them, the things that he makes them say. You know, <laughs> but one thing that he always points out when they're gonna perform on his podcast. Just yeah. kidding, radio show. Uh, is is that they they he always not being a musician he's he's always open about them being afraid of playing by themselves like without yeah. the group you know <laughs> not that yeah. not that oh, that's man. your situation I just mean like is that true like now oh, that yeah. you guys because I've never been in a band oh, okay all my life wanted to I I've hate never, honestly I hate playing by myself uh, you know it's it's is that why you gravitate it towards a band well yeah and it's not even that I don't like playing just as a by solo yourself act. with no it's one just hearing like, you I or, love. I love the band sound when you get that huge yeah, sound. That whole interac- yeah, interaction. Interaction. The interaction. The vibe. Yeah. See, Eddie, you know what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for me, like, a lot of times um, I've, in the past, because I actually started the band uh, Swing Love in and of itself in Baltimore about two uh, yeah. and a half, three years ago. So I actually had completely different members when I was there. Those recordings that you got online, is that these guys? Or? No, no. Actually, I don't think I have anything from you guys out there yet. Yeah, so, uh, guys, this is way better. No, yeah, <laughs> no, no offense no, to whoever no, they not were. Not taken, not taken. Uh, yeah, but no. I heard, I heard one or two. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not gonna just write a, va- a random person in into my house that I don't even like their music. <laughs> like sit with them for an hour and spend yeah. so much time. So I heard a couple tracks. This is better. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. No we, offense uh, to we'll whoever. Have to give you a copy open. of the the newest one we just put yeah. out. Yeah. We're putting out this week, I guess. Yeah, I'll tell How are you gonna release it? Is week? that secrets? That's coming. Yeah, out. that's yeah. what we're playing. Next. Yeah, actually, we're gonna play the the next time we play is gonna be the one that we're releasing this week. It's called what? It's called Secrets. And you're releasing it when? Uh, this week. It should be out in the next End of the week or years. something? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Se- uh, send it over and we'll share it on Facebook. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Yeah, yeah. much appreciated. Uh, man, I forgot what I was going to say. All right. <laughs> I don't want to make you do the last song yet. Just 
Oh, ten cool, more yeah. minutes, cause yeah, uh, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, we can talk about, here, uh, can talk what, about what, the universe. What, what, no, let's talk about Nashville. <laughs> let's talk about Nashville. All right. I love the color blue. <laughs> How long have Eddie and Jason been here? Uh, I've been here about six years, I guess. Six years? Mm-hmm. Three years now. Yeah, and was it worth it? Oh yeah, I was in California for ten years. I hated it. Southern yeah. California. You ever been up uh, to the Northeast? Yep. You ever uh, lived? I'm originally from New Jersey. From New Jersey? Mm-hmm. So you have that, you have that all, attitude. All I get you. I lived everywhere. I lived in Boston, Pennsylvania, Maryland, yeah? down to Georgia, then California for 10 years. And there I was doing a lot of playing in a lot of different bands. And then I did a little touring stint with uh, the Beach Boys. And then. Uh, you met them? I toured with them. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Look playing at the Beach, guitar Beach Boys guitarist right here. Why don't you tell <laughs> us that? What's your I'm last sorry? name? Why don't you. You should have said that, huh? Prado. Prado? Eddie Prado? Is that... I'm gonna fucking Google you later. <laughs> no, I'm nothing to be seen. It was, it was such a short stint because uh, Christian, who's actually uh, the son of my Were Love, you a groupie or a performer? No, I'm I was just a kidding. Performer. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, awesome. Christian, his dad, was Mike, is Mike Love. And yeah, so yeah. we used to open for them, the Beach Boys all the time. And we used to go on tour and open up. And then every once in a while, I would have to go and sit in with them and stuff. That's amazing. What were they like? Old. <laughs> yeah? Is that what it is? They were just like not really hip to it anymore? No, they're, no, they're actually like the most fun bunch of guys. And that's where I get my sarcasm, this banter of like messing with people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I one, get it from them. One thing, that, that that's another one that Howard Stern did was that he interviewed uh, two of them. Aren't two of them brothers? Uh, yeah, he's not alive. But they're not in the current band right now. Uh, Brian Wilson is doing the Brian Wilson Project thing. Uh, and then the Beach Boys is... I don't know. Right now, he, Mike Love, know one of them, Bruce yeah. Johnston, uh, Al Jardine, and uh, I forget the other guy. That's who's the current Under the Beach Boys name. Yeah. Well, one of them was saying on the Howard Stern show that he uh, he uh, he has a bisexual girlfriend, and she'll ba- he, she would basically bring any chick like home as long as you know she it was a three way. <laughs> so, like he was cool with that, and that like in other words. Supposedly, that's what it was. That was his house. That's how, and I don't know which one it was. I wish I knew what, which one of the brothers. But I was like, that's Whoa. awesome. Yeah, that's a rock star. Works. <laughs> that is a rock star. That's why I was like, yeah. ask you. When you said they're old, I'm like, are you sure? Because they sounded pretty damn cool to me. Old, but... Uh, and I love their music. Yeah, energetic, I guess. Yeah. No, <laughs> Viagra, man. That's, a, <laughs> that's definitely a thing. It <laughs> it's definitely more. a thing if it works hey whatever if, if it lasts for more than four hours find more girls right yes <laughs> or have your girlfriend find more girls for you oh yeah there we go <laughs> if you're that awesome oh, goodness. <laughs> man with the beach boys how about you jason what you done i mean uh, you're 37 yeah so you must have you know you've been around i have i've played with a bunch of different <laughs> musicians and, and around and everywhere so but uh I'm enjoying this project quite a bit for now. Yeah. yeah well, like you guys sound vibe. great. Kind of... I'm telling you, I will cut this. That Pat, What's the name of the song again? Uh, Him to Her. Him yeah. to Her, right. Mm. Uh, I'm yeah. definitely going to cut that on just put it in. Oh, great. Well, just thank to, you. Uh, upload. <laughs> if you don't mind, I mean, I'm not charging not anything all. for it. Not it's just all, going yeah. on SoundCloud. No, that's awesome. Share it on great. Facebook. Yeah, we want to share our music. Right? Yeah. How do you guys feel about the whole making money as a musician thing? You can uh, do I would that. Like to do that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I think I like call somebody. <laughs> <laughs> I think like twice we've said on the podcast because you know how there are so many music degrees nowadays. Oh yeah, absolutely. Therapy and whatever. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know we what I mean. Have our music degrees. Yeah, yeah, performance. Yeah, so which which means that I became a bartender. We keep, that, that's what, yeah. So again, we keep saying that. Being a broke musician should be a degree. Oh, yeah. I'd be like, an expert. Really know how to just hang out. I'm not thinking <laughs> right? Uh, Couch PhD. surf should be a class. <laughs> how to find, you know, where to stay next. Where to uh, stay rent free, yeah. How to make a good meal on, in, with $2 or something like yeah. that. $2 yeah, right? and an iron, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cook up uh, some ramen on that thing. Yeah, good. How to make ramen taste good. Oh, yeah. So What's it, have you guys ever seen famous people here? In Nashville? Yeah. Uh, no, I feel Nashville. like I've always just missed them. Uh, I was uh I went over to Ugly Mugs over in East Nashville and they said like three months before they had Robert Plant in there a bunch of times. Really? I don't know yeah. what for. He was doing something down here and they said, Who here loves Zeppelin? Just... Oh, no. oh my god. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> hey Jason, raise your hand. Uh, just kidding. When I was in California <laughs> with, uh, Robert Plant out there. Really? Uh, Did you talk to him? Mm-hmm. Eddie, what the fuck? Why is he like so quiet? <laughs> tell us. Tell us what happened. 
most uh, interesting man a, in the world. Um, did you braid music it? venue called the Did you comb his hair? Oh, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually shorter now. Really? Um, Go on. But there's a venue called the Santa Barbara Bowl. Kind of a real hidden gem. It's only about 3,000 seats. Uh-huh. Um, and I used to work at the Doubletree. I was a bartender uh, at the hotel, and that's where all the acts would stay mm-hmm. for the, uh, the bowl. And so uh, I, through that, I met a whole lot of people, and everyone from Robert Plant to um, uh, Brian Setzer to Cheryl oh. Crow to um, uh, all the guys in Depeche Mode. Hanson. I also knew... Um, I'm just kidding. Hanson. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Brian Setzer has my favorite version of Mac the Knife, uh, by the way. Do you guys know his version of Mac the Knife? Who's? Brian Setzer. Oh, he's mm-hmm. incredible. Oh, yeah. Ooh, my favorite. When I was like, I think like in eighth grade, I heard that song like every day for yeah. like a year. <laughs> right? What a strange thing. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm, I'm not like, I'm not from the, I'm not from, when did that song come out? I don't even know. I don't know. That I, was I when, feel like I missed out on about 10 years of culture. <laughs> you guys remember LimeWire? Oh, yeah. yeah. You will, what? Actually, here's another thing. We were talking about not making any money from music sales, but who's guilty? I'm guilty. I actually, I can honestly say I've never, I've never done download of music. Uh, that's really? It's not uh, paid for, yeah. Not, not because, of, not for, for lack you. of trying. I'm just not very good with computers. <laughs> oh, really? That's what it is? How about you guys? Ever download anything? Uh, uh, no, yeah, no. mostly for, um, <laughs> for learning songs. Yeah, I, I used to have a couple oh, yeah. cover bands in California. Yeah. So we used to do a lot of 80s covers. Yeah. Like, I had a band called, it was actually called uh, Flock of Cougars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you just would look up music because that was your job, and you didn't want to uh, pay money to do your job. But pretty much, yeah. I mean, I loved all the songs. I had majority of the CDs anyway. Yeah, yeah. But, but every once in a while. It does songs. make it easier, right? And you can't, like, it's hard to blame I mean, I would people. just YouTube it and just learn it all. Yeah, yes. YouTube's yeah. Learn my ear. Yeah. Yes, YouTube. But I never really downloaded I never really did the LimeWire. Yeah, me either. No? Mm-mm. Well, the LimeWire was a little bit before YouTube. It's a little older. Yeah. So I was doing that right before YouTube. And then YouTube came along, then I didn't have to. Yeah. LimeWire took over Napster, right? I'm not it's quite not sure. They're, yeah. they're right around the same era. I yeah, I think they were competing, uh, actually. Yeah. I think Lamar kind of won. Uh, I don't know. I think Nap didn't Napster pretty kind of pretty close call. Their image they kind of yeah. moved towards like a I little think bit. They saw what was coming down the pipe. Yeah. yeah, pretty pretty uh, smart. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what Netflix is. That's why uh, Netflix yeah. is badass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jeez, Netflix. the content that they produce that they produce put out I'm there. I'm a fan. They kill yeah. it. Their documentaries. Science. Oh, they're really good. Documentaries, their TV, their co- comedy shows because they're not censored. Right. They don't tell them what to do. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Amazing. Yeah. The yeah. Com- the comedy stand the stand up comedy. Oh, I love that. Yeah. You know, that they have so much. For sure. And they're giving them an outlet. That's kind of what I was trying to do. Like, just kind of like I was saying. Like a lot of musicians mm. look at recording. Like, oh yeah, we're gonna t- we do we do this, do it this year. Yeah. That's how about you do it today? Yeah. You know, like yeah. right now. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Put it up there because it's not. There's no blueprint for una- it. Yeah. It's not completely unattainable anymore. Like there used there yeah. was a time twenty years ago when all this equipment, grand everything grand. in here. <laughs> Well, what I have in here is probably worth like ten grand or something. Yeah. But before it would have been two hundred grand. Yeah. yeah. Or more. Mm. Or more. I I had someone tell me once that in the early nineties they bought a memory with like five hundred megabytes, and they spent I think it was I think it was like two grand. Expensive. I think yeah. I have that on my phone. Ugly. Something like two grand. Yeah. Well, remember pen drives? Think when when YouTube just came out, right? I'm just comparing. I don't really know dates. But I remember around the time when YouTube came out, pen drives f- with like 500 megabytes, which was already amazing, because this is 10 years after the early 90s, mm-hmm. uh, pen drives with 500 megabytes were like 60 bucks. Yeah. You remember that? Uh, yeah. 60, 70 bucks? Yeah. And now they're at $2? And you, you get them with next to the they're, they're next to the pack of gum. <laughs> My God. Uh, if you get lucky, you can get them in Cracker Jack. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Here's another point I was going to make. You guys are going to release something, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. How are you going to release it? Oh, we're just doing online right now, but uh, purely yeah. online, no digi- yeah. no uh, physical copies. Mm-hmm. We're going to take some with us on tour just to uh, just, sell just them. to have nah. CDs. Yeah, we're just going to do CDs. No uh, records? Nah, not yet. <laughs> oh, check this thing out right behind you. That I'm, I would, that's a, earlier when I was talking about Zeppelin. I just saw oh it. yeah yeah. I made that when I was fourteen. Nice. <laughs> check it out. Hand it over. Yeah. I couldn't afford uh, posters, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got this. I love Closer it. Closer from cool. school and took some paint from art class. That's how I do it. That's really neat. As we wind on down the road, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, bumped a guitar. My bad. Oh, no worries. Okay. Uh, yeah, so no record. 
Now, um, do you guys listen to records still? Oh yeah, I've yeah. I got Miles Davis kind of blue. I listen to uh, pretty much every day I yeah. can. <laughs> it just it works. Yeah, vinyl is great. The only thing, the only problem I've had with vinyl is just how easily they scratch. You know, yeah. it's just, you can lose them so easy. And oh yeah, fix them. Yeah. But that's also what makes them precious. Oh, and yeah. you hold them like, like a, yeah, children. Sure. Dimes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, they don't, they don't really work with contemporary music too much, do they? Yeah, I mean, we bought know. a you know tribe called Quest. Oh yeah, absolutely. We bought I a record. I saw it in there on your piano yeah, the anthology. We yeah. bought the record. It it did not work. It, really? Like, yeah. No, like it works. It'll play. Just doesn't sound good. Cause Is it from a digital master? Not quite oh. sure. That could be a situation. But That's when but totally when they recorded difference. the music, it right. it was no. We we were already over that hump. Like when they recorded it, they had a they had a samples and they were going straight into like a computer mm-hmm. and just the 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 quality of it was already digital. Right. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't. So, yeah, it, it sounds it, it better. Do anything. Well, I mean, it sounds better on these because it oh, produces yeah, it'll frequencies. Oh, it on a computer, but it'll, yeah. it'll never What I didn't. Right. What I didn't yeah. try was maybe trying to hook up the vinyl to these speakers somehow. Mm. You know what I mean? Maybe that would have worked. But I just feel like that music was recorded to be played on these speakers. Yeah. Yeah. That's just what we have now. Just like when the Beatles started recording stereo. Hey, it's around now. Let's record for that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you guys say rest in peace, Fife Dog? I mean, heard about that. Yes, I'm very sad about definitely. that. Definitely. <laughs> but he also, I mean, I saw the documentary right after. I hadn't yeah. seen it. You know that documentary they came out with? No, 2011? No. Nah. Look uh, it up. It looks I'm like he's, he's kind of the one that broke it up. Yeah. Because yeah, he, he was bad. super angry at uh, yeah. Q-Tip. Q-Tip, yeah. What a great name. All right. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying to, to come up with some names yeah? like that for ourselves. Yeah, I'm really like what? Excited. Come on, Apparently, Eddie. Apparently, you're they were calling me a ferret. You're the funny earlier. one. Ferret. They called me a ferret earlier. So Aaron the ferret. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, no. But, I mean, you guys don't think that you could you could set, set up that, I mean, release that seed, that seed, I want to say CD, but release that record any other way? You think you would? Because I, uh, I got a theory. Okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to... Eventually, gonna, the record, maybe. Yeah, yeah, the record, once the full record comes out. This well, point, you guys would sound good on a record. Maybe even with the electronic stuff. Bonnie Vare sounds great on the yeah. record. Yeah, well, uh, we're probably going to record it on uh, tape. On tape, yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah, at my studio. Yeah. And you have that? You have all that equipment? Yeah. Great. It's, that's, it's EDP music. Um, right on 16th Avenue, right on Music Row, right across from Belmont. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, that's, your, that's your studio? Mm-hmm. EDP music? Yeah. All right then, can, Eddie and was actually it's edpmusicrow.com. Edpmusicrow.com. That's what I'm saying. You guys Check got a, you guys cool got anything else you wanna uh, promote? Oh well, we got our we got our so, band website. We got www.swinglovemusic.com. Awesome. You're doing a record soon, <laughs> yeah. and then we'll wrap this guy up with the one more song. Yeah, uh, you're doing a record that. soon. We're talking about the show and the tour. And the oh, yeah, 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 all of that stuff. Yeah, man. sure. Yeah, you never know. We're doing uh, eight off eight, which is uh, if, if people aren't familiar May with it. May 30th on a Monday. Was that? Said we are. Yeah, yeah. May thirtieth on a Monday, right? Yeah. Eight um, on eight. Mercy Lounge. Eight Mercy off eight. Lounge in Nashville. A little uh, three four song set, and that's actually going to be a kickoff to uh, a tour. We're going to be going. Uh, Nationwide. What's that? Nationwide. Right? Yeah, we're going to. We're going to basically head out from there the next day. Go to Salt Lake City, up through Denver, Montana, and then head over cool. to Seattle and Portland. And cool. I would totally go that way too. Oh yeah, it's a great way to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't yeah. wait for Montana. I mean, oh, it's gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah. Never been to the West. <clears throat> wow. I might follow you guys on the bike. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, try, I'll slam on the brakes a few times. <laughs> hey, Eddie, how long, have, in the back <laughs> how long have you had that tape tape equipment? I'm curious. I don't know anything uh, about it, to be honest. Uh, well, I started, I went to school in 91 at the Institute of Audio Research in Manhattan. Really? And I learned everything analog. Like, yeah. I, I would have to take well, You did? Studio. Yeah, of course you learned everything yeah, analog. So yeah. I, I, you, we had to know how to take a eight. 800 Studer, yeah, uh, 24 track machine, tear it down, yeah. and then kind of basically rebuild it to troubleshoot because uh-huh. you didn't have most studios. Well, yeah, like unless this, the big ones didn't have technicians. Dude, how long did it take you to set up back in the day? Uh, it was forever. I guess, like, <laughs> I took everybody me- today talks about tape, and I cringe at the idea. <laughs> really? Of things about tape because it can be so <clears throat> damn time consuming. And yeah. tape machines are, you know, they're variable machines, just like um, just like microphones. Um, a microphone doesn't sound the same day to day. You know, you take a dry, hot, yeah. summery day, it's going to sound crisper mm. compared to a rainy, wet really? day where, you know, the air travels slower yeah, yeah. and it picks up different. And tape is the same exact way. What, so you record, you have to record on a certain day. 
or you just uh, kind of have, have to be to, ready you for have it. To take the right steps to. Oh. Uh, to, to like to, what if it was more if it was rainy out there and you were recording? Air conditioning. You have to have the right the temperature of the room definitely. Uh-huh. Uh, you can't. Ha- I wouldn't recommend recording in a house that had no air conditioning. You're just using fans or something like that. Uh-huh. The moisture will mess up the tapes and the heads and. And honestly, I have no idea. Like, so you know how I was talking about like, have you, you guys remember records? I, I not me, because when I was a kid, it was like as, when I was fourteen. That's when YouTube started. Mm-hmm. So I used to have eight uh, milk crates full of albums. Yeah, I believe uh, I, I. I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like, so the mic goes into what? I have no idea. Meaning, like mean. my mics go into this audio interface, which uh, records. We, oh, uh, mine, mine makes it digital. Two preamps, um, depending on either two preamps oh, okay. or, or a transistor. Preamps. Like, okay, I get it. Little little amplifiers of the sound, mm-hmm. right? Travels through the cord, uh, goes to the preamp. Oh, either go straight to the tape machine uh-huh. there, and oh. then from the tape machine it goes through the board and then into Pro Tools. So I'll record on tape back uh-huh. up with Pro Tools. Okay, so but from the eventually mic- everything will end up on Pro Tools. Right, but still the 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 medium of it is mm-hmm. definitely. I mean, the tape adds a little, a lot more bottom end. It's a little rounder. It's a little fatter. It's a little more pleasant in the bottom end, mostly. So it is more pleasant. What I don't like doing is recording vocals on tape. Why? Uh, You don't get the Christmas. You don't get the air that Uh you you can in Pro Tools. It's always better to record digitally vocals. Is it? Yeah, in my opinion. Because you can get a really good tube mic going into a really good preamp and then go straight into Pro Tools and have that real clean. You know what? There's definitely a really different sound. I've noticed it mostly for guitars. When I listen to Beatles music, I was listening to a song earlier. Uh, I had you guys ever play the record, the Rarities, the Beatles, uh, the Rarity one? No, no. That one, it, had, no. it plays. A, they play across the universe, and apparently, uh, they they went outside of of uh, EMI Studios, and they caught a couple girls walking by, and they asked them to come in and and do some backups. So it's All like. Right. Uh-huh. Runs are flowing out like endless rain and da da da, and then they come in like a, uh, 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 uh. and it's cool because like I always remember every time I hear it, but uh, but like it's just in that one take. You guys should uh, get up. That's wild. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's uh, cool. well, okay. I guess we'll have to end it. <laughs> but so wait, wait, wait. So it goes in just because while I have you, I'm gonna learn a little something. It goes from the mic. It goes into a preamp, which basically acts as the digital interface, and then that uh, goes. None of the preamp then goes from there into a converter, and I use Apogee converters, and then that goes into and Pro Tools. Okay, and then into a com- oh, I get it to make it from analog to digital. Mm-hmm. So there's still some conversion going on. How did they do it back in the day when you learned how to do it, uh, it before was digital? To the machine. So you would go straight into either a board, uh-huh. or you would use preamps, and those preamps straight into tape deck. Right in, and then the tape deck out into the board. That's why they would have to mix on the spot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with all Wild. the ten fingers. Yeah. Wild. It, you know, back then it was a performance. Yeah. Yes. You know, <laughs> that's what I love about yeah. this. That's what I'm saying, <laughs> guys. That's what I'm trying to bring back. That aspect. Yeah. Yeah. And back then you weren't a mixer; you were a balancer. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and back then to be an audio engineer, you actually had to have a degree. Uh, you couldn't just add in. I'm an engineer. Yeah, yeah. Which you can do now. Then, <laughs> yeah. Literally, it was like yeah, at EMI. Because, but yeah, I'm sure. But, white coats walking around. Oh, yeah. You know, that, and, of course, because oh, wow. who are you going to trust to handle that equipment? Yeah, but back, again. Back then. Back yeah. then. Yeah. But yeah. you also, I mean, I know that's not what you were doing, but you can't write off people that call themselves engineer now because they are engineers. They are working with all the equipment. It's just contemporary and it's yeah, accessible. Yeah, it's not the same exact idea. Just because you can work of the you don't learn. You, you don't learn the math. You're right. You don't, humidity they don't know the ins and, and outs dynamics. Of tearing everything oh, yeah. down apart. Well, like, yeah. that's true back too. then, engineers they had to know the ins- they had to be able to make their own boards. Yeah, yeah. you know, you're Abbey right. Road before it was Actually, you're right. yeah. uh, when it was EMI, they had they had to custom make their own board. Nobody made them before Neve. Yeah. Had, you know, nobody made them. So these guys built their stuff. They were engineers. Yeah, that's, that's where that title wild. came yes. from. Yeah. That's a good and that's point. what not mixing engineers are today. They're not engineers. Yeah. Mixing engineers, mixers, is there but they're a, not engineers. I see what you're saying. Is there a more appropriate term than engineer today? What would you come up yeah, with? Being know. being a man of... That's, uh, a good, that's a good one. I don't know what would be more appropriate That's a today. good point you brought up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you mixing, kidding? That, I've mixing always specialist. wondered that. Yeah. And you being somebody that actually studied that, actually did that, was alive that time, that's what matters. More just like, I wasn't alive then, man. I don't mm-hmm. get any of it. I have no recollection no memory 
and all I have are recordings that I hear digitally. So that's fantastic. Glad you're sharing that. I'm gonna grab a beer for myself for this last <laughs> song for right. you. Do you guys want anything? <laughs> no, I'm good for right now, thank you. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe one more shot of whiskey. That no. was <laughs> yeah, yeah, why, why, why are you up there? <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> B W E W R U N Beer Run. Huh? That's fun. Oh yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Almost as much fun as watching Archer. <laughs> <laughs> or when you tried to play Archer. Because you got you had a little too much of the something. <laughs> Archer is not a video game, Eddie. Uh, I was really trying hard, man. <laughs> I was really trying to make a move. You man. were so frustrated. <laughs> I remember looking over and be like, why are you so mad, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what are we, doing? Uh, we, we started playing Halo, and then somewhere along the line we switched over to watching Archer, but I still had the controller in my hand, and I was trying to make oh, Archer on the show move, and he wasn't moving, I was getting yeah. mad because he wasn't moving. Uh, yes, I can sit down my water. I just couldn't figure <laughs> it out. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not laughing at you. I'm trying, trying to make a move, and I'm like, who's, who's Lana? Tell me that How do I make him punch? Lana? <laughs> that was one of your all's late nights. <laughs> well, that sounded awkward. All right, guys. Oh, yes, it did. All right. It's nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you as well, man. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, Thanks for sharing, uh, especially Eddie. I, like, I love learning, you know? Learning about anything musical, and that's something, like I said, I can't get from somebody. You can be 30 years old. 35 years old you could even be 40 years old and be really good at engineering quote unquote and it's not the same because mm, right. you saw that and you did it mm -hmm. it's great i wish i had i wish i could do tape i'll learn maybe one day when I, but isn't it's it funny cool. that now like you still need the money for that like oh yeah it's so expensive yeah I mean, <clears throat> you know one reel and you only get about five minutes depending on the speed that you're using damn really so uh, you could never that's why you could never you play could a song longer than five minutes like on the radio uh, or well, it's interesting. Is remember. that the reason? Is no, that the reason radio? I don't, I don't think it's really. So how do you record? How did for the radio? How did the they record an orchestra? Their own limits. Yeah. You know, like three minutes was the longest. How would they record an orchestra? Like something like an hour long, if it was tape. Do you have to use multiple reels or something? Oh uh, yeah, or? you would have to do multiple reels. It's wild. Um, you and you would have to sync, which would be a nightmare. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Didn't they yeah. used to punch holes in the things for like um, a click? For like Controls, movies, for movies, slice. yeah. I remember having yeah, a slice. physically, wow. and you lose your job if you slice <clears throat> it wrong. Yeah, you know, if you you can or forget ruin somebody's yeah. performance. Yeah, Are you kidding me? And yeah. uh, you forget to press record. <laughs> oh, that that, that one happened, one. right? It's super embarrassing, but it yeah, happens. Well, that has happened a lot of times. Oh yeah, that's funny. Oh, and I could see it because on Pro Tools, I can see the the, the little lights yeah. going, <clears> and okay, it's recording. I could always turn back. So I've I've done it before where I I'm not recording, and I'm like, oh hold on, let me press you know, press space bar. Yeah, that's that's something that really has evolved. Pretty crazy. All right, what's this last one, guys? All right, yeah, this last song is called uh, Secrets. This is one that uh, we are releasing this week. It'll be up on our website. Uh, it'll be up pretty much everywhere we have anything. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, uh, all that good stuff. Secrets, this is the one you're releasing. Uh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, here's my idea. Release it on a, on a pen drive. Not that not for a single necessarily, but the, the record. Yeah, there's on a what? A pen drive. Yeah. Because yeah, just a little, little because flashback. nowadays, like we were saying, oh, we all like yeah a physical pen. That's what I, that's I thought you were referring to something online. No, no, no. That's my idea. Is, I know I keep saying that word and people don't know what I'm talking <laughs> about. A, a memory stick, mm -hmm. whatever Flash it is. Drive Flash is drive. Yeah, that's yeah. the most common one, I guess. I call it pen drive, but release it on a pen drive and uh, just like a little thing, you know. That's why you can buy yeah. it for two dollars now. And since if you guys are doing all of it yourself, which is just plugging into your computer and transporting everything. That's yeah, fine. Easy. Sell it for six dollars. That's a four dollar. Really that idea. oh, it's a fantastic one. idea. I came up with it. <laughs> yeah. Tra trademark. Just kidding. But five uh, five no, it is. Sell it for six right? bucks. Yeah. Six then, bucks. And then all you have to do is get like little stickers or something to put on. Oh it yeah. Your, your exactly. email or your address. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm cool. saying. And yeah. yeah. And a four dollar profit is much better than a twelve cent profit yeah, that they used to have in the eighties and nineties. You know. Yeah. Think about it. Well. Whatever, that's no, my, that's my, idea. It, that's so. my idea. Use a pen drive. Use a pen drive for live. Right. If you ever do come up with uh, hard copies, pen drive. Yeah. Because I don't even have a CD player. Yeah. It's, my, yeah. Mine broke. Uh, I didn't fix it. A lot of laptops don't even have them anymore. My car, not everyone has a car. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Let's hear this uh, name again. <laughs> yeah. uh, song is called Secrets. Secrets. Yeah. Secrets. Let's do it.
Frankenstein have murdered reason Leaves a hollow kind of shell And it's the changing of the season And it's a different shade of hell But I said Good job. Thank you. Thank you. That's good. Yes, thanks you can come much. back whenever you want, you know. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Do it again. Uh, thanks so much for having us. Thank yeah. you very much. We appreciate it. A lot of fun. It was awesome. Absolutely. Hey, you know, you guys are lucky to have Aubrey. 
Oh yeah, she's oh, great. Because yeah. <laughs> you none up. none of you fucking heard this podcast. No. <laughs> and she obviously did. Yeah, yeah. She he, like you know, it's normal to be skeptical, and you should be. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm yeah. just saying. You guys thought maybe it was gonna sound a little shady. You know, oh, it's gonna I'm sound. Gonna trust her completely. She's oh yeah, she's yeah. She actually runs right. my studio too. That's what I'm saying. Uh, she's cool, man. She's What's her life? Huh? Well, she she told me she would try to you know. Well, obviously she's doing this for work, but she told she said she would maybe bring some people over. So yeah, I'm, giving, I'm get, for that. I thank her and I'm giving her uh, a shout out. What's her last name? Aubrey Wickenheiser. Wickenheiser. Aubrey Wickenheiser. Mm-hmm. That's the one. Yeah. Is she German? Just kidding. Her family is really yes. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. Is that where it comes from? Because she looks super Asian to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, is, yeah. she is. She is Asian. She, uh, she's South Korean, I think. Right. <laughs> Aubrey Wickenheiser. Well, Asian. thank you for bringing yeah. Swing Love. Cause God damn it, you guys. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for having us. It's been great. Appreciate it. Thank <laughs> thanks. You.